Hi and welcome to Anglin Pew. And today you join me at the wonderful Swanlands Fisheries. And uh, we're into the first fish straight away that did t that took no time whatsoever. And what we're doing today is fishing a small ICS cage feeder with micros. We've just got a banded six mil pellet, fishery pellets, and uh, fishing it tight up to the island. And that this fish obviously took it before I could even settle the rod. I must say, it's a beautiful um, surroundings here. Like a nice little cap to start the day. Just click that, that back wind off and allow you to, to bring your fish in. Lovely conditioned little cap just inside the mouth, just getting one hooked and we'll make another, another cast. Beautiful little start, nice little uh, common. I'm getting back in. I'm sure that there's going to be more where that came from today. Let's get another, another pellet on and uh, Get back out there.
fish uh, on the paste. It's like a nice mirror. Beautiful, beautiful markings on that mirror. Beautiful markings. Round. Oops, just inside the mouth. It's not gonna, it's going to stay still for me first, so I can unhook him. Just flip to the hook out. Lovely fast bite that one. So if I can to play a ball a second, with a little mirror. Beautiful, beautiful markings on him. Get him back in there. Right guys, what's the rig? So, as you can imagine, as always, um, we've got this slightly lighter hybrid fusion, but it does stretch quite well, um, 18 to 20, which sounds mad, but it's probably only 14 to 16, if I'm honest, the way it stretches. Um, the line is 020 uh, Gem Pro. Uh, line and obviously it's uh, what I use for pretty much all my pace fishing unless I'm going to a really really big fish venue and then maybe step it up to sort of 022, 024 um, and at the base of it we've got a KKMB size 12 I never go smaller than a 12 um, it's just I need it I need it for that to pull through that paste I've got a little bulk of number 8's probably 8 nine inches away from that uh, and I've just got another small bunch of four number eights uh, just sort of near to the float just to, to self-cock the float now the pace will bring that float down uh, but I'm only using that small amount just to offset uh, because it is a 0.5 gram and, I, and, I, and the reason I use that I'll go in it, I'll briefly touch on that I use it because I want to fish in open water I like uh, if I've got anything of depth like I've got about two and a half foot here um, I like a wire stem, I like a thick body and a tall bristle for paste um, and this is why these sort of skimmer floats uh, from Progen these uh, 0.5 gram ones are, are perfect for that um, I bring it down, down to the black with a shot and then it just the paste brings it down to wherever I've plumbed up and I find that the best way um, I, I, like I said I'm, I'm doing a paste 101 video it's, it's filmed whether it's up before this or after this I don't know but if it is up and do check it out, it literally goes through how to make the differences between stiffer and sloppier pace, how to feed them, how to plumb up, how to tie the rigs, everything, absolutely everything to do with it. Um, and as always, we've got a little cab pot on there, a little Preston cab pot just to aid in shipping out and dropping off. Um, like I was saying before, we, we've, we've done some, we started off on the ICS feeder, like I said, I've never been to this venue before, we started on the ICS um, small cage feeder, and um, we'll just do the side fished that for a little bit um, and caught a, a few a few nice fish uh, and I always do that because the fish tend to push away when you come to a venue and I'm a sea sign so I'm scrubbing up there so I've done that um, and then with the fish pace short now um, where I've seen sort of scrubbing and things like that on the fish on, on the as the contour goes down we've fished it off the shelf uh, and then I'm gonna look at the edges and um, we're gonna look at feeding pellet and corn whether I put some paste on maybe but we'll start with a pellet and corn attack uh, and see how we get on with that and hopefully we'll, we'll have a few and uh, I'm really enjoying actually today it's a fantastically beautiful venue lots of features uh, this chestnut one seems to have a lot more features on it and uh, more like a, a typical uh, pleasure pond and then the other one is cherry and that's all set out like a match pond where it's a bit like a square square size one island in the middle um, and as the slightly bigger specimen size fishing. Although we've had, you know, some of the paste already to that come and probably six and a half pound um, upwards. So, you know, they are they are bigger fish big enough fish in here to catch them and, and plenty of them by the look of it. So that's uh, without further ado, let's get down that margin and see if we can have some fish. Right guys, so we're at Swanlands in the bait shop. 
Now we're just having a little look inside because um, I've got quite a, a few good things on offer. So number one, social distancing, it's one at a time in, in, coming into the shop. And we're just going to start you by looking at the so simple bait that they've got range, the range that they've got here. So they've got some really interesting things. So these um, so simple crush um, and the, there's little stickers on um, saying RGT. Now RGT is ready to go, so those are actually soaked, ready to go in your feeder, or they've got the dry versions as well, which means it's really simple for people that maybe struggle a little bit to soak the pellets correctly. They can uh, they can have them straight away and they can get on the peg and they're, they're ready to go. So they've got a few different flavours. Uh, moving down, I've got them all in the red. I've obviously got all the paste mixes and through all the different sizes of pellets as well. So these are the krill and the new krill range. So obviously krill flavored, and they've got loads of different ones. The black ones, like we're saying, are more ready for winter. And then they've got the green ones as well, which you can add the crush. And the FA one and FA two. Um, I've just been told they're the the newer ones, the milky one, and the fruity one. Now they've got obviously some, some bait concentrated sprays there that you can add on to your feeder. And up from that you've got all your crush boosts. Um, so they they look really fantastic. And again, add into your ground baits or to your pellets when you're soaking them. And then on the top of this range there is some of the soft uh, pellets. And you can obviously put those through a quick stop. And then moving on to these are the little pofters. Uh, little pop-ups, uh, little goft gofters they're called um, and they're obviously in different flavours. Now, so around the other side we've got the ringers, some of the ringers range, the uh, the awesome chocolate wafters, chocolate orange, um, the liquid for that as well and then we've got some of the ringers different flavourings and sprays as well, the shellfish, um, attraction ones, the squid, um, there's some chocolate yellow um, as, as well with the wafters. Uh, and going down, we've also got the expanders uh, in the six mils or four mils. Um, they've also got the pellet pumps and the micros from the ringers range. And going down to the bottom, they've got various different feeder ground baits, expander ground baits, and paste ground baits. So these are obviously all allowed um, on the venue. Now the good thing is these are the Swanlands own, so they've got the Screttons micro pellets and they've got the Coppins micro pellets, so you can choose between both, um, although the Coppins uh, 6s and 8s, are, 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 there's no Screttons, they're just uh, two mil ones, um, which, is, which is fine, you don't need it anyway. Um, and then down next to some of the feed pellets, we've got some of the special G range and uh, they're again hookable pellets and there's some uh, scratting 11 mils uh, for those real sort of uh, big fish on the bomb uh, and they do run up to the 18 pound mark in that uh, in uh, chestnut so uh, they are some big fish so we've got again some F1 ground baits and some feeder ground baits and then the special G ground bait at the bottom they are getting an order in so obviously there's going to be a lot more stuff there they do have uh, just standard corn uh, hemp um, the juicy fruits, uh, mixed uh, wafters there, and some ex um, ex uh, pro uh, some expanders, some fours and six, um, and then underneath the bottom, they've got loads of different types of um, t tubs, bait tubs, and obviously a bait waiter there if you want and want to screw onto your bank sticks. They've also got some more at the top. Some different bait weights, different, different colours. Bait tubs, all with different types of lids. There's the ones where you, you can just peel the lid off and it's got another lid, um, the different sizes. And then if you're in the matches, um, you, they have got some clickers if you want, or if you're in a pleasure session. Um, they've got some uh, pellet, uh, ringers pellet um, banders, and they've also got some uh, discorders at the back. So if you're wanting to look at the different baits they have, they've got a new sort of little uh, guide. I'm going to take a few photos of it and put them on the group, but I'm going to zoom it in on the swanlandsbaitshop.com. Uh, that, that'll allow you to see what they have got and what they are getting into stock. 
We've also got uh, drinks, just normal soft drinks and a few different types of energy drinks and uh, chocolate bars. And then moving on to the back, they do have tea and coffee and in the corner you can get frozen dead red maggots um, as well, which is really good. Just going back onto the Swanlands bait shop, uh, you can click and collect so they can have it ready and on your peg for when you come, and which is really fantastic. And that allows you to order online and, and the social distancing part of it were really good. They also do take card as well, so that's really fantastic. So let's get back on the box and let's catch some more fish. Right guys, so this is Cherry Lake. So this is the older of the two lakes. This one is around 40 years old. Um, and we were just having a nice chat with the owner and he's just giving me a little bit of information. So this one has uh, the, the more variety of fishing, whereas the top tends to have carp, uh, bream and sort of perch and, and the carp, there's a lot of carp and there's some F1s in the top, but the, uh, the, they tend to go to a, quite a larger size in this one. So they have weighed and he, he triple weighed it, uh, eight pound and eight and a half pound for an F1, that's huge. And also he says that there's a lot of them up to a stamp of around three pound um, to four pound range, which is, is really nice. And as you can see, there's, the pegs are easy access. There's a lovely sort of feature in the middle. Um, it's two foot round the margins and two foot round the island and everywhere else. Once it slopes down, it goes six foot all the way across, uh, which makes it really easy to, uh, to plumb up and have multiple rigs done. Uh, and it cuts everything back at the start of the season so then everything's accessible and then it'll all grow back and it can keep on top of it, it just allows you to have really good margins um, and, and makes it really easy. Uh, this one has got sort of fish up to around the £20 range whereas the other one runs to about 18 um, but there's lots of different types, uh, koi's, ghosties, tench, eyed, um, skimmers, tench, there's everything in this one um, so it is a really well stocked and nice, uh, nice lake. I'll just give you a little pan round. Yeah, so really, really, really nice. And they're really nice guys here. And uh, um, the, the owners are, are lovely and they help you. And the good thing is the owner's um, a fisherman himself as well and he does fish some of the opens. Um, I'll, do, I'll do you a little shot of the board and I, you get you to see the, what the, uh, the rules are like and a little bit about the matches. Right guys, so obviously this is the board with the, with the rules on. We'll get it, they're the two lakes. And the pegging and the parking. Just go down to the, to the rules. You can find all this on the website or on the Facebook page. But to be fair, the, the rules are pretty standard to, similar to most. And they are putting the matches back on and the opens. But you and two nice fish down the edge. I've just seen them come <clears throat> come into this right hand side edge. And I've been feeding corn and pellet. I've just put a little bit of paste on. And the floats uh, sailed away. It looks like a Sort of a mirror cap, I think. What we'll do in a second is we'll we'll change the camera angle around. And we'll, we'll, we'll get this uh, ship so you can see this edge. Like that. It's a nice fish. It's a lovely, lovely stamp little mirror. Let's get him back in. Let's see if we can have another one.
into another fish from down the margins. Camera just turned itself off, so we're uh, yeah, going hard for over there, but we've uh, got it under control at the moment. He actually took a grain of sweet corn, this one. He's putting up a good fight of himself. Don't know what stamp he is yet. I think he's a common one. I saw him swim off. Certainly a fit fish. So he went straight out and straight out for those islands. I think he's an half decent stamp. Yeah, it looks like a decent stamp. Damp for fish. Certainly be a nice one to end on if we can get him in. He's coming out for these. This rope, which I really don't want him to do. <laughs> to tighten up on him here. This is just going to be a, if the up upland cold kind of job, because I can't, if I can't let him get near that, near there, near that rope. Now he's going for it again. <laughs> he's a good fish, I think. I don't want him anywhere near that rope. Come away from that rope. It's a common. It's not massive, but it's a it's one of those really really fit commons. Just want him away from that rope. It's a good fish. It's a nice one to finish on. Perfectly up in the top lip. The question is now: Is it going to be able to let me pick him up? Let's see. Lovely, lovely fish to finish on. Let's get him back in. So a successful day, really enjoyed it. Caught, caught started on uh, the ICM feeder, caught a couple on that, but quite quickly realised that the paste and the edges of where the fish were going to be. It's still a bit iffy because of obviously the spawning starting, so they're, they're not fully on as they would be if you come July, ta July time. But we're still having lots of action and there's people catching all the way around, uh, which is good because it's not, it's not rammed, but it's, it's fairly busy. Um, so there's people on the venue, so which is great and uh, we're catching some really good fish and I'm really enjoying it. It's lovely to come out to a new pond and um, this is the way I approach it. I always start far back and I watch the swims and see what the fish are doing. Um, I did try and feed, feed a little bit shallow as a throwaway line but nothing swirled, I went for it. Um, I think it's just that they're starting to spawn and they're up in the water. Um, I quickly noticed that the, the track line and the two edges were, were starting. Um, and obviously we've had those two nice couple of fish from down the edge and no doubt we'll have more but hopefully <laughs> but we have not got much camera battery left and that's why we're gonna have to cap it at that but um, thank you very much uh, to Swanlands for letting us film um, I'm gonna put in a there's a little part that I'm just gonna drop in um, uh, early in the video you you'll have seen where um, we're just looking at his shop he's just got some some new baits and some new uh, sort of shop layout um, and uh, you know really nice it's perfectly maintained as well and really easy uh, to find off the main road so uh, thank you for much for just watching we've hit the 6k uh, subscribers which is amazing um, so keep keep watching keep sharing keep liking it's, it's fantastic and um, join us on the Facebook group angling for you where you can share your views uh, and on at seven o'clock on the Fridays we do the live feed and you can ask the questions and get involved on there and then we go over to the instagram at angling underscore for you put your pictures on join us on fridays at eight out for the live stream on there and uh, be interactive and like always um we'll see you on the next one and enjoy your fishing and stay safe thanks a lot for watching Dialines. lines